Welcome to Everyday Happiness, where we create lasting happiness in about two minutes a day through my signature method of intentional margins, creating harmony between your to-dos and your priorities, happiness science, and musings about life. I'm your host, Katie Jeffcoat, and today we are taking an episode to recognize when kindness doesn't work. This is inspired by Sonia Lubomirsky's book, The How of Happiness, where she points out these discussions that really rang true. While I'd love to say that kindness is always the solution, it can sometimes backfire. Therefore, I'm going to offer you three points to chew on and be aware of so that when you put kindness into practice, you do so with a compassionate mindset. First, kindness can't be forced. When you force someone to act in service, whether they don't want to, uh, it can actually inspire feelings of bitterness and resentment. While they may logically recognize that they are doing a good thing, they may have coinciding feelings of their generosity being taken advantage of. Therefore, kindness must be completed freely and autonomously to achieve those ultimate results. Second, sometimes kindness will not be well received. We live in a very independent society and kindness and help can be perceived as pity or handouts. The recipient may not accept your goodwill with pleasure, but instead feel anger, disadvantage, or as though they're being needy. That is why one must be compassionate with their kindness, thinking about how it may be perceived through another person's eyes. While we, of course, can't anticipate how everyone will feel, we can adjust how we present our kindness. While it may be obvious, we never want to present ourselves as being condescending or fluffing up our services for something more than it is. Remember, stay humble. And lastly, I want to note that kindness should not be detrimental to your physical, emotional, or mental health. For example, studies have shown that long-term caregivers of family members often suffer deeply from stress, anger, resentment, and grief while they are taking care of their family members. And they may be considered the kind thing to do. Their pain often goes under the radar. I want to note that while Long-term care may be expected of you as the honorable, appropriate, or the, quote, right thing to do. You must also remember to take care of yourself as well. There is never any harm in knowing when to ask for help and to take a break because your happiness matters too. Okay, darker and sadder notes aside, I want to bring us back to remember that in most situations, Kindness will spark joy in people's lives, and I encourage you to sprinkle some joy today in a meaningful and thoughtful way. Until next time.